Emergency allotments are winding down for millions of SNAP recipients, but several states will still provide money in April. The Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, in at least eight states will continue to send extra money in addition to the monthly benefits. The amount a household receives varies by size, but $9 to 5 is the minimum amount households must be given, on top of the regular SNAP benefit amount each month. The money will be deposited onto an electronic benefits transfer, EBT, card. SNAP benefits can be used to purchase food for your family at authorized stores. There are also a number of online retailers which accept SNAP. Emergency allotment changes. For much of the pandemic, SNAP agencies across the country were providing emergency allotments e, each month. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, which oversees SNAP, said with the public health emergency expiring on April 15, 2022, EA will expire too. Some states, such as Nebraska and Tennessee, have already phased out this added benefit. States are able to do this if the state-issued emergency or disaster declaration has expired or will expire in the current month. For example, for phase-out purposes, a state whose declaration expires in March may request EA for April. April is then considered the state's EA phase-out month. Without a renewed state-level emergency declaration, the state would no longer be eligible to provide EA in April. Emergency SNAP for April The following states are offering extended SNAP benefits for April. Alabama, Maine, Michigan, New Jersey, Rhode Island, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. If your state is not on the list, it may still approve emergency benefits in the coming days and weeks. How do you qualify for SNAP? Throughout the U.S., more than 41.5 million Americans receive SNAP benefits every month. You must apply for SNAP in the state in which you live and meet certain bank balance limits. The total amount of SNAP benefits your household gets each month is called an allotment. SNAP households are expected to spend about 30% of their own resources on food. The USDA says the maximum monthly allotment is based on household size. For example, for a family of four, the maximum allotment is $835. Each state has a different application form and process. Benefits are paid on a specific day each month, depending on your state. Thanks for watching. Leave comments below. Stay tuned for more news and updates. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.